Hello and welcome. It's well known that data backup and re recovery often take a back row seat when it comes to protecting our precious data. Whether it be memories, documents, or important creations, we simply don't see the need for backups until it's often too late. This is the lesson that many of us have learned the hard way. Well, I want to assure you that I have also learned this lesson the hard way over the years. In my 25 years of computing, I've lost a tremendous amount of data, work from my early years, projects that I had built, and of course, precious memories such as family photos and videos. So today, I want to share with you an important tool that all of you must have installed on your PCs or laptops and running constantly to ensure your precious data does not meet the same fate. Although this can be a very deep topic and requires lots of discussion, in this video, I'm bringing you a review of a software tool that can cover your backup needs with ease. In this video, I'll be showing you Minitools Shadow Maker, a professional level backup and data protection and recovery tool. This video was sponsored by Minitool and a license key was provided for evaluation so that I can demonstrate the full feature set of Shadow Maker. However, the thoughts and review of this tool are wholly my own and were not subject to editorial review. Also, please click the like button, get subscribed, and press the notification bell icon to be notified when there's new content available here. It is totally free and really helps this channel to rank on YouTube's algorithm and to continue to bring you in-depth and insightful tech reviews. Let's begin. Shadow Maker from Minitool is a professional backup tool that provides data protection and disaster recovery solutions for PCs, servers, and workstations. It is offered in three editions, free, pro, and business. That means without shelling out any money, you can grab the free version today and immediately start to see the benefit. See the link in the description below. With a simple and intuitive interface, it allows you to get the job done quickly and easily. It serves as a simple and smart backup solution with flexible scheduling, including full, incremental, and differential backups, backup management to ensure that outdated backups are deleted, and space on your backup storage devices is managed intelligently. And purchasing the Pro Edition nets you additional safety for your backups such as data encryption and more. The Premium Editions also give you the ability to have different backup schemes such as full backups, incremental backups, and differential backups, allowing you to save that precious space and to backup only what's changed since the last full or incremental backup. You can also schedule backups here as daily, weekly, or on certain events in your system. And this is an ability to give you always backed up data without having to manually intervene and you know intervene in the backup process. And of course, as part of the backup option series, there's lots of configurability. You can either use sector-based backup or sector-by-sector -sector backup, different types of configurations for how you want your data to be backed up, the default sizes you'd like to have backed up if you want to split, for example, a data onto different segments or data onto different uh, drives for writable media such as CD-ROMs or DVDs. Uh, you can use compression in order to ensure that you're using the most of your precious backup space. You can add some comments or descriptions. You can also use email notifications. You can select exclude, such as Windows page files and hibernation files, which are temporary system files and should ne not be backed up. You can also ask the computer to shut down once your backup has completed. Set a password protection for your backup files. And of course, you can run a verification process, which goes through and verifies the integrity of the backup that has just been completed. That said, if you're looking for just a simple solution, you can select a hard drive such as here. I've selected my D drive and I've selected the destination here, which is my G drive, a 12 terabyte hard drive that I've got in this PC here. And you can see that from source to destination will be the backup. Of course, we can name the backup task, say D drive backups, for example. And you can then optionally click backup later or click backup now. So if you click backup now, it will start the backup process and begin after begin copying the files, depending on what is the amount of data that's to be backed up. A simple tabular interface provides quick navigation and selection of the main functions in the app. It's nice to see that Minitool has kept the interface minimal and void of clutter. Considering that backup management is not an operation that people get excited about, it is nice to see that the interface makes it easy to jump in and out quickly, ensuring your data stays protected. The Shadow Maker interface is then split up into different tabs, very easy for navigation. We've got a backup tab here to manage our backup tasks. We've got a sync tab here for managing syncing different folders, akin to what you would see from tools such as Dropbox or OneDrive to keep all of your documents and file folders in sync across multiple devices. 
a source and a destination in this particular case we've also got the restore ability here to restore from backups that have been performed on our system we've got management tab here to do certain tasks with our backups such as deleting the backups or you know just de deciding uh, what kind of backups we want to create additionally you can also mount backups that you've performed so these backups are, perf are performed as disk images we can actually browse these backup images by mounting them if we select mount on this particular image it will give us the version that was backed up so this is the timestamp and uh, date and timestamp for when this backup was performed we select this click next it'll tell us which volume from that backup we can actually restore what was like, essentially what was backed up in there we'll select this d drive here click mount click OK to confirm and we'll see here that we've now mounted our drive. If you go over to our file explorer, we'll see here that H drive is a mimic exactly of D drive, which is the backup drive that I had performed yesterday for this video. So H drive, you can see here that the capacity is exactly the ISO size of this image. If we go over to our backup volume where this backup data is stored, my 12 terabyte drive here, we'll see that within this backup task, we have an MPI, a file image, essentially an ISO that can be mounted as a volume. So we see here that by mounting this to the H drive, we can now browse around, copy and paste files from this, uh, or copy files from this backup to restore selectively if you wanted to recover just a few files or a few folders, uh, for example. Once you're done with this, you can head over to the tools tab, click dismount, be sure to select the drive that was mounted and dismount in order to safely remove the mounted image so that you're not actually ending up with corrupting your backup or your data. In addition, there's also a logs tab where you can see here different different events that were performed in terms of backups and allows you to see and keep track of where your backups were successful or if there were issues with your backups so you can track and manage uh, certain scenarios. And finally, on the tools tab here, you've got some nice little handy utilities that really round out the offering from Shadow Maker. So if you look at Media Builder here, this will pop you into a wizard that allows you to build a Windows PE bootable USB drive or a CD-ROM drive, depending on if you have burnable media or if you have just a USB drive available. Windows PE is also known as the Windows pre-installation environment, and it allows you to manage stuff before installing Windows on an operating system, uh, such as managing your partitioning and formatting your hard drives, installing any special drivers you may require, Windows installs over the network even, and dealing with security related tasks such as BitLocker, TPM and Secure Boot, or even configuration Hyper-V for virtualization. It is a great tool for advanced users, system administrators, and complex Windows ecosystem environments where flexibility, control, and management are required. This process simplifies this entire mess into a one single click wizard process. In addition to building some Windows PE media, you can also add Shadow Maker to your Windows boot menu. So if you require recovery from that environment, you can select the Windows Shadow Maker option and it will basically allow you to boot into a recovery environment atop Windows PE and restore from your backups. You also have the option to clone a disk, which is basically copying one drive to another. Now, keep in mind, this is generally very helpful for people who want to maintain backups, but just as entire clones of a drive. And clones here with Shadow Maker can be selected and restored to dissimilar hardware. For example, if you've made a clone of your Windows operating system and your files on one PC with a certain set of hardware specifications, let's say an Intel CPU and an NVIDIA GPU, you could definitely restore that over to an AMD CPU and GPU combination, which is considered dissimilar hardware a very nice to have feature when you often go through upgrades or hardware swaps often and finally you have the option for PXE which is network boot and remote control of, uh, of uh, or sorry remote backup and restore management of other PCs across the network using IPs and TCP IP uh, this is something that's only available in the ultimate edition that you would purchase through uh, Pro Tools professional editions such as the Pro and Business editions so please refer to their website link in the description below and finally I want to point out if you're ever in trouble if you have a trouble understanding something or just want more information on how to manage a particular feature this little button here at the top of the mini tool uh, mini tool shadow maker window will lead you to mini T mini tools support center which allows you to get technical support as well as access manuals for the various products in this case here if we select the shadow maker manual you'll be led to a very nice uh, manual page where you've got html manuals with instructions and of course with screenshots allowing you to very specifically manage what it is that you're looking for a nice and well layout documentation and being that it is html they are often updated quite regularly so be sure to refer to to this if you're ever questioning some of the feature set or unsure of how to make some decisions in the backup software backup 
decisions can have long-lasting impact so be sure to refer the manual and at least have a browse through to understand uh, if anything in here is not intuitive or is raising any questions of course all of these tasks here as you can see it can be renamed so by default they're called disk backup task sync task you can always go in and, and change those naming conventions to have something that's more suitable to you and finally when there's new versions available you can click here click the update you can you can click the hamburger menu here and select a few other settings such as high dpi scaling nice to see that even on high dpi monitors this app looks great and functions great thank you very much for that shadow maker uh, you can also click update here to select and check for updates available to the software and of course you can check the about page here to see what version you're finally running and what license you're actually operating under right now as you can see here i've got a lifetime license here that's provided courtesy of shadow maker for this review and finally, a feedback tab is available here that allows you to generate a report if there's any issues you're running into with the software, or alternatively, you can access their support email from this page to get additional help and support for your ShadowMaker subscription. To conclude, ShadowMaker from Minitool provides a quick and easy backup solution that allows everybody to ensure that their data stays protected by setting up manual backups or automated backups that are performed regularly to any external source hard drive or to another destination to make sure all of your data stays protected and you don't suffer the same fate that I that I have many times over the years. Uh, that said, also with sensible defaults here, for example, by default backing up the disk partition and using some external sources here, you can schedule the task with lots of configuration options here to manage how you back up your computer to ensure that not only your system is backed up, but also that your files and your data crucially is backed up. Uh, that said, the restore capability is quite uh, quite easy to use here. The backup images can be mounted for you know management and file and folder level recovery. You've also got some extra tools here to round out the offerings from Minitool to really make it a power, power users tool. So if you're a Windows PC user and you do more than just typing or the Netflix or just you know surfing on Facebook, then this is a tool that you must have in your toolbox. So that's all I have to say for this video. Thanks very much to ShadowMaker for sponsoring this video and to providing a license key to help review this software for you guys. Click that uh, like button, click the subscribe button to get subscribed to this channel and hit that notification icon to make sure you're the first to know when there's new content available here. And please get subscribed as it helps this channel greatly rank on the YouTube algorithm. It's free of cost to you, but greatly and immensely helps this channel here to grow so we can continue to provide such useful and upcoming content in the future. Thanks very much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.